Hey friends, Pastor Coates, welcome back again today. This is our brand new series on Money Talk that we're calling Kingdom Wealth Management. And today's lesson number two, and we're gonna ask the question today, the wealth, who does it all really belong to? Now last time we defined what Kingdom Wealth is. Kingdom Wealth refers to the abundance and prosperity that flows from living a life that is aligned with the principles of the Kingdom of God. So today we're asking this, well, who does it all really belong to? And here's the answer. The wealth all belongs to the king. It's kingdom wealth that we're talking about. Psalm 24 says this, Psalm 24 verses 1 and 2. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Everything belongs to God. Haggai 2.8, the silver is mine and the gold is mine, declares the Lord. 1 Kings chapter 20, verse 3, your silver and your gold are mine, your best wives and your children are mine. Now we go to the New Testament and concerning our lives, the Apostle Paul says this, or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you are bought with a price. So honor God with your body. In other words, everything that we have, everything that we are, everything we ever hope to become belongs to God. Silver belongs to God, gold belongs to God, everything belongs to God. So what does that statement mean? That statement means that if I want to operate in kingdom wealth, I'm gonna realize it's not about what I have, but it's about what God flows through me for the benefit of the kingdom. So what is my role? If you remember this from last time, I love this thought, I am therefore a kingdom heir, <laughs> a kingdom H-E-I-R. I am a joint heir with Jesus Christ. I am an heir of the wealth of the kingdom of God. The ownership of everything belongs to my king, but he is sharing with me because I'm a joint heir, I'm a kingdom heir of the wealth of the kingdom. So where does that leave me? And this is so essential. My role then is that of a manager, or as the Bible calls it, a steward. I am the king's heir here on earth. I am given responsibility to manage or steward for his kingdom everything that he puts in my possessions. Jesus explained this many times in the parable. A steward is one who manages the possessions or uh, takes care of them for someone else. The owner owns it all, but the steward takes care of it as if he does own it, even though he doesn't own it, realizing that ultimately there will be a day of accountability and reckoning. So here's what the Apostle Paul said, 1 Corinthians 4, 2, Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found faithful. So these are very basic elementary things. We'll be getting into a lot of more things concerning kingdom wealth. But these first two lessons, we've learned that kingdom wealth is all about the kingdom. It's not about me. And that secondly, I don't own these things, but I manage them because I am a joint heir. I am a kingdom heir of the Father.